Hey guys, I'm gonna give back here from the video guys another video making coins So guys, I actually made it on the main channel talking about this talking about my profits. I just made I made around 230,000 coins of profit uh, from doing the mass 150 pack opening of these get a player packs and honestly we destroyed it we destroyed it on that now i could have made even more i could have made over three hundred thousand, but your boy got lazy and just went ahead and went through the exchange sets put them in the exchange sets and then did that now you could do that and still make a decent amount of coinage that's not impossible to do but the issue is you don't make as much as you can because each of these cards individually and they're actually selling 750 950 1500 1600 coins and ah, it's just so much power it just, it just takes a lot it takes some time and that's why i feel like a lot of people just hate it because it just takes a little bit of time and yeah i know i got a comment before saying like we're playing a football game why are we talking about like spending time doing this and it's hey if you want the team you want you gotta grind your way to the top i have 2.2 .2 million right now because we put Asante Samuel limited time on the main channel, guys. Go check it out. I've got not check it out already. Went ahead and put a limited time, um, oh, sorry, a legend fantasy pack, and did pretty good on that, nonetheless. Very proud of the pull. Um, I was really determined today to pull a limited time card. I've only pulled two, a uh, limited time cards before this. I pulled a Marv Harrison and we pulled Heinz Ward. So I was like, I got to pull some kind of limited time card today. We have three in the game, including Phil Rivers, which I think Phil Rivers is still like over a mil, man. He's still to a price tag. is just absolutely insane. We're going to pull a get a player, get a gold player pack. And let's see. No. Okay. They, these packs are awful. Like if you guys want to lose coins, open up these packs because yeah, there's every once in a while you'll pull something like this. You'll pull an 89 Aaron Foster. But most of the time, you're going to be losing coins. Watch me pull a limited time card out of this. Okay, I say you're going to be losing coins, and EA just does not like to agree with me. EA is a problem. They do not like to agree with me. Yeah, most of the time, you're going to be pulling 99% of the time, this. There will be times you pull an elite card. There will be times you get lucky. And don't get me wrong, that definitely happens, and you know. It's a, it's a thing, but 99% of the time you're going to be losing. So don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I've done it too many times in the past. I have videos on this channel. Where I pull a million coins worth of those packs, 750,000 coins worth of those packs and completely crapped on. And even like speaking wise, you know what? We pull like what? Four or five right there. So like 25,000 coins, this card, technically speaking, if we sell this card, and let's say we, you know, this, this wasn't the lead. Let's say this was a gold. We would have lost coins right there. Even with pulling an 89. That's why it's so difficult to open up that pack because you can, even if you pull a good card after 20 packs, you're going to be losing. <laughs> you're going to be losing in the end. So again, never recommendation is never to open them up. But again, when it comes to some of these cards, uh, as long as you keep to the principle that we were doing, like right here, 400 coins, he goes in the exchange set. Just be smart. Don't. What I was doing yesterday actually was really actually was smart. Was uh, whenever you're selling these cards, like go through them. Like let's say you open up, I like, open up like what five or ten right there. Just go through them real fast, right? Check the price on obviously on my head. I mean on the auction block right now. And before you start selling them, go through and see which cards can you put in the exchange set. And then the cards you can put in the exchange set, like this card, put him in the exchange set automatically. So that when you go back and selling, you already have the cards that, you know, every card that you're selling is already, you know, worth something to sell. It's not going to be a worthless card to sell. You're selling cards that actually go for something. So just a key uh, tip, the key suggestion, uh, probably save you some time. It's just, and you could, you could do this after you sell the cards in all honesty. I just like doing this beforehand because then I know, okay, how many cards do I have to sell? And it kind of dictates you know, how I'm going to use the auction house. Cause unlike Madden mobile Madden ultimate team on console, we have a limit of 20 cards on the auction house at a time. And because of that limit, we're not able to go ahead and actually, you know, really just uh, like open up as many or put as many cards up as possible. So definitely sucks, but something we have to deal with 
as so for example yeah okay this card right here we're gonna put him in a sand set because he goes for absolutely nothing and again if you have the madden campaign app you can see you know live like what these cards go for you could even search them on your phone as you're opening up these uh packs i'd be like okay this card goes for blank the card goes for blank and kind of go on from there now my general idea my general suggestion when it comes to these cards is if a card goes for the price tag of less than 850 coins as a gold card it's pretty much useless it's pretty much useless it's not going to sell for that much uh mainly because of the only side it's not going to sell probably at all it could but chances are it won't sell because it seems like a lot of these cards that are like 950 or 850 800 they just don't sell um pretty much anything above 900 coins probably will sell as a gold card uh so anything below that we are i am more or less putting them in the set and exchanging them for other cards and trying to do that and the same concept applies to the silvers and like i said in my main channel video a lot of these silvers if you just don't want to go through them and deal with them a lot of these silvers just put them up for 600 coins and watch them so they will sell and you make your coins back plus profit so it might just be honestly better to do that just to keep uh, it going because these silvers take about an hour to sell and i know that's a long long time but again these silvers it comes down to either someone coming up and buying them or someone just going ahead and you know doing something else to go ahead and get these silver cards so maybe they need them for a set or they need them for whatever quick sell whatever uh it just oh theme teams it just takes a little bit of time like so right here he'll probably sell for 950 if it's 900 plus they'll probably sell if it's not 900 coins plus most likely they won't sell <laughs> and you probably have to put in these same set eventually but some of these gold cards they do sell for a decent amount of coins especially like for example packers packers theme team easy easy money to sell but guys that's pretty much it for this video if you did enjoy it hit that like hit that subscribe button guys Hopefully you guys are using these methods to make coins. Hopefully, you know, in the, in the future, I'm hoping we get some more methods to make coins. And I definitely think we will. Uh, taking a look at all those sets, stuff like that, just to kind of really break down coin methods. And there is so much coins to be made in this game, guys. It's not even funny. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.